I'm gonna hit you, Cactus. I'm gonna take off all your skin. I'm gonna hit you, Cactus. I'm gonna take off all your skin. Even though you're not gonna drop your bomb because you're crazy like that. Anyway. Hello, guys. Nintendo Freeze on here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyward Soul. A deleted, or a delayed, uh, delayed intro for the win, I guess. So the thing you gotta be careful of when crossing this sand is notice how the sand is moving. So any shells that you, uh, use for platforms are gonna move along with the sand. So... Be mindful of that. I suppose we can just do it in all. I was thinking about doing it with a sword. I don't know. It seems like that would be quicker, but... Oh, yeah. See how he grabbed that even though it was nowhere close to it? That's, uh... Just thank goodness because you don't have to be too accurate. They might have been able to make that a little bit tougher, but... I don't know. Okay. All right. Get on here before it rolls away. And it almost got away from me there. So we'll just take a nice leisurely ride across here. We've got a long way to go before the temple, guys. I mean, we ain't even hit the... Well, we kind of have hit the meat of the area, but you don't notice that yet. So you're like, oh shit, it's about to... It's, uh, it's good thing I noticed that one I did. Uh, there's nothing over there, really. There's nothing anywhere in here. Let's just go. Oh, jeez. Just didn't run over the stone there. But wait a second, have I hit a dead end? Find out next time! No, okay, anyway. Jeez, how can you be so crazy? This is crazy, man. Good thing I didn't, uh... Oh, man. Jeez. That's close. Anyway, at the other end, we go through another similarly sort of temple-like entrance. Need a couple hearts here if you want, and I just wiped myself out again. I want to see what that entrance looks like. Yeah, it looks like the other one I just came through. Uh, I don't know. Let's do your... Which way... Okay, I was gonna say, there's a cave here. Good lord. Actually, it's not a cave at all. It's... Well, it is, but it isn't, because it comes out of another cave. You don't go through the cave. You come in here, and just look at this. Oh my god, we're getting closer to the Temple of Time, as you can see. Dowsing is still pushing us that way. There's another bird statue here, another bed. And there's a mysterious... You know what? No, we don't need to save. I was about to, but I changed my mind. Anyway, well, if you look at the map here, you can kind of see that we're in this big, uh, square-like area. I think of it as a square-like area. We got mine cards. So I'm thinking of this as east right now, and this as north. Temple of Time is to the north. So, wait, hang you on. Know, let's get some more dragonflies if we can. These, to me, are probably the hardest bugs in the game to catch. Like, they say the sand cicadas are the hardest, but I don't know about that, because if you can sneak up on them, you can get them right away. I guess that's true with any of the bugs, though, really. Anyway, so the question is, what do we do here, man? We can't jump over any of these gaps or anything, man. Well, we're going to have to use our beetle. And look around for switches like this one up here. Good lord. Nice, nice, nice. But notice this is only going to cover, like, the first quarter of the... Yeah, see that? Straight up and down. Oh, I could have finished you, but you fell off the side. Just like in Wind Waker, which makes me laugh. Yeah, you might notice these time shift stones are only covering, like, a quarter of the area, because the area is so huge. So... Anyway. So, and there's one time shift stone, like, right in the middle. It's in this huge-ass tree up here. And this is pretty epic. I must admit. It's very cool indeed. So up inside of the tree, yeah, go over it and actually drop a bomb down into it. And miss. Because missing is actually the most important part. I didn't, I failed to mention that to you guys, actually. Missing was the most important part. Because when you miss, you get to say, Doh, I missed. And then you sound like, Wario when you I'm so stupid. I give up. I can't commentate. Oh my god, I can't. Jeez. That last minute is just proof of that. Proof positive. That's I be positive. As in I be positive, I'm not putting my needle anywhere near that. Anyway, one more time with the beetle, we're going to come over here and hit the switch. Because otherwise, if we don't do that, we're never going to get through the cage on the other side. Yep. shoop de whoop So once you know what you're doing here, it's not nearly as daunting as it looks. You just have to... Ready? Wait! Oh, man, I missed you, but at least I got through safely. 
Man, look at this. We're right up at it, man. Oh, we're so close. Ah, so beautiful. This looks like just like Twilight Princess. Oh, you know what? Jeez, man. You know what I forgot to do? I wanted to upgrade my shield. Wait, stop. No, no, no. I was trying to... Thank you. That's what I was... <laughs> I was trying to look at the monster or, like, move the camera behind me, not the house. As you can see, though. Yeah, if thrusting the nunchuck forward seems uncomfortable, you don't actually have to do that. You can just swing the nunchuck to the side, and it works just as well. And that's what I've been doing. Here, yeah, it's 777 rupees. How about that? Must be my lucky day. Hello. Oh, good to see you, bud. It seems like you pop up everywhere, though I am one to talk. Anyway, bud, there's something I'm dying to tell you. It is the discovery of the century. This is a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. Ooh. I could not believe my eyes when I saw a human who lives on the legendary Isle of the Goddess. Isle of the Goddess. Isle of the Goddess. It wore clothes, just like the ones written about in ancient manuscripts. No, just like you, bud. What? Somebody who looked like me? Oh, lordy. Maybe I, maybe I really have gone back in time here, and this happened a thousand years ago. And, well, I don't know. I don't think we're getting past this mess. Just wish we could find out what's happening on the other side. Yeah, really. Well, you can kind of see through it a little bit. Well, maybe not. You know, like, jump up there, maybe. Ugh. Can we get up there? Nope. Guess not. Wait. There's a sand cicada. Cicada. I think it's so weird when a word starts with C, and yet the C is pronounced as an S. That always seems so weird to me. <laughs> you caught a sand cicada. The larvae of these bugs stand around for ten years long. No bug is harder to catch. I beg to differ on that, but... Yeah. Sand cicadas are good. I don't quite remember exactly what they do. Like, what they upgrade. Oh, wait, there's more. Might as well get another one. As long as you move slow, they, they won't run away. Oh, but if you swing the net wrong... Yeah. Huh? I did do it a little low there, I didn't mean to, but, oh well. Let's get back to the bird beetle here. Get some rocks up here. Hey, yeah, this rocks. Uh. No, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Or is it? I thought it was that one, but I guess not. Well, I don't think you can carry a bomb and a rupee at the same time. Oh, time shift stone, how lovely. We were going to see one of those eventually on this corner of the thing. So this is probably the quickest way to hit it right here. So. Dude, seriously? My god, six shots and you can't even hit that thing. Alright, let's try from here. Uh, I don't think this is any better. No, because you're shooting him like, ugh. You know what? Screw it. I'll hit him with the beetle. No, I said beetle. Thank you. No, turn this way. There we go. Jeez. Jeez, man. I was gonna try to be all ep epic with hitting him with a slingshot, and then I just failed epically. Failed epically and epically. Dude, you're standing on the tracks, man. You jumped on the tracks? Oh, you got me that time. Okay, thank you very much. There we go. Help! Sir. Oh, <laughs> he's saying help as I'm stabbing him. No, oh, but it's, it's him saying help. I know, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to help you shut up. Thank you. Mm. Of course you could always knock him out of the circle and up to a thousand years into the future. And there'll just be skeletons then. Which is pretty much what they were. When we got here. Anyway. That was scary. Thanks for helping me. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the sacred gate of time made by the goddess. It's my job to patrol outside the temple. If you want to reach the gate of time, you need to pass through that door. Uh, when a remining facility. Oh, no. Oh, thanks. That's the mining facility, right there at that intersection in the middle of the sand. What a great place to mine. <laughs> Wait a second, what? He changed my map to the past. Oh, man. Well, actually, I kind of appreciate that. And you will, too, when you get there, trust me. Huh. Mega Man, Mega Man, he changed your map to the past! It's, yeah, the actual terrain of 35% accuracy. 
the robot you met earlier in the fight, you're about to show past the terrain that is now submerged below the quicksand. Which means there are certain things from the past that haven't disappeared entirely. Concrete structures, which will never disappear. And those will help you get over the sand if you know where they are. The map will tell you where they are. So, good on you. Also, notice there's a goddess cube up there. You're not going to be able to hit that from anywhere besides in the... Oh, shoot, we're going to move this thing, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no, he's dead. I'm sorry, dude. Alright, so let's get our... Dang it! <laughs> oh, I always fail this, man. Alright. We're going to have to take two rides in this thing. Actually, three, because we're going to have to go back the other way. Yeah! Second try is not bad. Of course, it doesn't make up for the fact that we're going to have to make a third trip. But, oh well, the trip takes ten seconds. What do you do? Hey, wait, we got an ancient flower over there. So I can see that there. Might as well get it. Might as well jump! I probably pat. There was actually one earlier that I passed. I know where it is, exactly. But I wasn't even paying attention when I was there. I'm just like, Psh. Good lord. I wonder if I can still go back for it. I don't think it matters that much, though. There's lots of flowers around here. Lots of ancient flowers. So I always love to make more tape. Always love to make more tape. I lost my shield to this guy last time I came through here. Because I just kept letting him hit me. And it destroyed my shield. And then I thought, you know what I should have done is upgraded my shield. And I never did that. And I should have at least checked to see if I could. Because that would have made this a little easier. Or at least I'd have less to worry about. Maybe I'll try, like, before I go to the temple, head back up there. Now that i got more bugs to you know, upgrades and stuff. The little things, you know. Oh, I need some water. Oh! Okay, I'm back. What? As you present, I have information. I can confirm that you will not be consumed by the sink sand in this current position. I suggest verifying your location on the map. Yeah, see there? See where the gray areas are? That's pads underneath the quicksand, which means you can walk on them. It is possible to walk along a route above this path without submerging completely into the quicksand. Or sink sand, whatever. Oh, placing beacons is not a bad idea. I recommend placing multiple beacons. I suppose we could do that. Now, it's kind of hard to tell, but some of the... You know, notice where it's like faded out a little bit on the edges here? That means you can actually walk up this edge and onto the higher ground here. But notice how it's like solid white all the way to the end there? There's no like gradient. That means you can't get up there. So this looks like it's like gradient on both sides. Which means I can probably do that. So, what you can actually do here... Eh. No, I wasn't... Okay, seriously? I'm like, seriously guys, can we? Okay, if you want to place a beacon, just set it, you know, down right like that. And, uh... It's easy enough to tell pretty much where it is, but if you ever... Like, I can't even remember where I put them last time. It's like we could use some over there. I like to just put them, like, at the intersections. Because you can pretty much tell, like, where they are. Like, there's a... One, we're going to put one right there. But we're not going to be able to get up on it. Well, I could get up on that one. What did I do last time? Well, I'm actually going to put one here. And then here, so I know where I'm going. As far as that goes, I could probably just put one right here on top of me. There. I kind of want to see what's... Oh, jeez, that bird is after me. Let me see something here. Yeah, I'm on solid ground. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm sort of headed to the right of it a little bit. And you can actually run in this sand at normal speed, too, which is awesome. So, alright. There's more butterflies, dragonflies. Might as well get them. Oh, I got you close. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And you? It is your time. This is your time and your place. Uh. Well, we gotta get back. But notice how I put the beacon down, so that's gonna tell me exactly where to go to get back and to stay on the solid ground. And you can continue to do that, you know, even as you're going in the direction of any of the others. Well, the thing is, it's generally more of a circular shape, so you're gonna be going like this right here, and then, and then maybe you'll turn this way in the next... Be gonna be like slightly to the left because you're going like in a you know a circle. I was trying to bring up my like I was playing Mario Galaxy 2. I was trying to bring up the star 
to show you the path, but uh, and this is the higher ground right here. So, and this apparently is what, according to the map, the entrance to the mining facility. Unfortunately, not much we can do about it. The secret sword, and you can't do much at all. You can rest over here, though. I will gladly do that. Blip, blip, blip. Yeah, whatever. We didn't need that many. I don't know. It wasn't. It's not as bad as it was last time. Last time I was this close to dying in here half the time. I don't know what I was doing. We can set this down in between these two. And there's actually a bird statue over here. We'll go and activate this. Oh yeah. Splooge indeed. All right. So future self, if you're ever watching this by any chance. What day is it? Aren't you glad to still be alive? Is it 2015? Have they invented flying cars yet? Like, are you honestly watching this? Like, maybe someday you want to watch this to refresh your memory on the game or something. Or, like, how to do something or something. Or maybe you want to compare yourself to how somebody else did it. Like, maybe you saw somebody else fail at something, and you wanted to feel better about yourself, so you went back and watched your video, you know, of how you did it. Readings indicate the materials used to disrupt the generator are also present in this area. You can now use your dousing ability to locate them. Well, sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and set that up. I don't need no stinking dousing, though, because I know where all three of them are. 